so adorable. How did we get so lucky? Should we wake them? Nah, let's watch another one. Contour, find YouTube Kids. Now get all your favorite apps right on Contour TV. So adorable. Contour from Cox. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. We begin with a breaking news alert. Everybody knows it. It's all a big hoax. It's, I call it the witch hunt. It's all a big hoax. So we'll see what happens. The president in the same boat as all of us tonight. We'll see what happens. Breaking tonight, special counsel Robert Mueller has completed his report on the 2016 presidential election. No new indictments expected. Our ABC7 Instapol question tonight is, as the attorney general reviews the findings, will you read the report if it's made public? Go to WJLA.com slash vote now to weigh in. The numbers will show up and update live on air. Mona Kosar Abdi explains what happens next. Right now, special counsel Robert Mueller's highly anticipated report is in the hands of Attorney General William Barr. The 22-month investigation has produced 37 indictments and guilty pleas from seven individuals, including members of President Trump's inner circle. Tonight, Barr tells Congress he is, quote, committed to as much transparency as possible. He pledged to consult with Mueller, who he has known for decades, to determine what other information from the report can be released to Congress and the public. But Democrats are demanding Barr release the full report to the American people. It's imperative for Mr. Barr to make the full report public and provide its underlying documentation and findings to Congress. The final decision is up to Barr. It's in the hands of the Attorney General to decide whether A, it's in the public interest, and then B, are there any legal hurdles to overcome here? President Trump also has the power to authorize the release of the report, including classified information. Just this week, he said he's on board to do that. I don't mind. I mean, frankly, I told the House, if you want, let them see it. Let it come out. Let people see it. The contents of the report so guarded, even the president is in the dark. It's going to be very interesting, but we'll see what happens. Uh, there was no collusion. And the Justice Department says Mueller is not recommending any more indictments. On Capitol Hill, Senate Democrats are already calling for Barr and Mueller to testify in front of Congress. As for the president, Trump says he's glad the investigation is over. Mona Kosarabdi, ABC News, Washington. ABC 7 Chief Political Correspondent Scott Thuman joining us now from the D.C. Bureau. And Scott, does this mean POTUS is free and clear to celebrate at Mar-a-Lago tonight? Not necessarily, Michelle. Keep in mind, there are several investigations still underway here on Capitol Hill. Then you also have some federal and state ones going on, including in New York that some people believe could be very damaging for the president. That's the one regarding the hush money. There are some other financial crimes that some people allege may have taken place and are being investigated by the Southern District of New York. Prosecutors there have a tough history of uh, really going after people. And then finally, keep in mind, there are always those whispers, sometimes shouts here on the Hill for impeachment. So yes, this is a significant chapter in the book that's been closed, perhaps in the president's favor, but that does not mean that he's free and clear. And tonight, Scott, we're already hearing some early calls for Mueller and Barr to testify from members of Congress. How big will the fight be over what's made public? Well, I think that that is going to be the next big uh, battle here because keep in mind, really, uh, Attorney General Barr, his Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein, and Robert Mueller are the ones who determine what exactly gets out, what they want to share with members of Congress, and then ultimately whether or not some of that gets out into the public because, of course, keep in mind in Washington, anything that makes its way to Congress, typically you hear about through leaks. Um, but, but look, that is going to be the fight. If Democrats especially feel that they have been slighted, that they haven't been provided enough information to justify the end of this investigation, they're going to try and subpoena, they're going to want someone to testify, they're going to demand papers, and that could be another lingering battle which just will get woven into all of the others that we've seen, but uh, perhaps with some big consequences. The Mueller report may be out and that may be done, but this larger matter continues.